G'day guys. It looks like Silly Season is still in full swing as Jake Kostecki has been rumoured to be leading. After a rather underwhelming season with the Tickford outfit, Jake Kostecki looks to be moving on after an altercation with Scott Pye at the Supercars Gala. Released in an article by the V8 Sleuth team today, it appears this incident has increased tension between Jake Kostecki and Tickford management, and especially after such a rough season, it looks like he could be on his way out from the team. Throughout the 22 season as well, there was quite a few incidents that cost Tickford quite a lot of money as well from the 56 car. So the reason is multifaceted, it's not just about the pie incident, but the situation can't have improved because of it. However, that does leave us with the question as to who will fill the seat if Kostecki is leaving next year. And there are two fairly strong candidates for that seat. So mentioned in the article by the Sleuth team was that the potential driver for next year was actually Declan Fraser, the Super 2 champion who doesn't actually have a seat in Supercars or Super 2 next year and would be very able and fast in that seat. I do find it weird, however, that Tickford would sign a driver from a team like Triple Eight that they've been fierce rivals with in the past. Don't get me wrong, I think Declan Fraser would be a great option for the team, but I do think Tickford could go one better in my opinion, and that is of course, this guy. Mr. Best, already a supercars pole sitter, bona fide pole sitter at Tail and Bend this year. When you've got a driver like this already in your academy, I don't see why you'd look elsewhere to get a driver. Now, of course, I think he is tied to a wildcard program for this year, as is also not running Super 2, similarly to Fraser. But I could only see that being easy to change. Fill in with another driver that you've got in Super 2 now and replace him as a co-driver and put him in the main game. To me, having an in-house driver such as Zach Best come into your car and just having faith in your own driver program it is a much better option than going to Triple Eight, taking one of their drivers and just skipping over a driver like Zach Best. It makes no sense. But that is, of course, just my two cents. I don't have the full range of information on this matter. Another thing to consider is the potential for former drivers to come back on the grid, namely drivers like Stanaway or perhaps even Gary Jacobson. Stanaway is obviously a fast driver and currently, I'd say, a fan favorite driver who has big sponsorship backing in Peter Adderton and Boost Mobile. And Gary Jacobson is a driver that I'd like to see back in the series. He disappeared last year and he was doing quite well in that Subway Premier racing car. And I believe that he would do well in that tradie or other sponsored Mustang. Now, of course, it is very sad to see Kostecki go. I did quite like him as a driver, but not only that, I felt like he was a relatively interesting character in a time where supercars kind of needs those characters to step up. To show you what I mean, I'm just going to finish off this video with a few clips from ads that he's done from Trady that I found quite enjoyable to watch. But that's all from me. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe comment if you have something to say on the matter or if you have a driver's suggestion. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later. He can't do a skid without the right kit for your bits. So if your Dick Johnson is swinging around like a frog in a sock, grab a pair of tradie bamboo no chafe undies for your tradie undies, the ultimate toolbox.